Hello and welcome to the S2 pupils and their parents. While I am unable to present this information in person, I do hope that this video will help answer some questions and queries that you might have. Moving into S3 at Firhill, we continue to follow the principles of a broad general education. That is, coverage of all the curricular areas, interdisciplinary learning, opportunities for pupil choice, skills for learning, life and work, health and well-being, literacy, numeracy and ICT taught right across our curriculum. In order to do this, the course choice is designed in such a way that pupils must pick at least one subject from each curricular area. In S1, we provided an introduction to the learning of each of these subjects. In S2, that continued, but we also introduced an element of choice. Pupils in S2 chose four different skills options that they wanted to look at in more detail as we went through S2. As we move into S3, pupils are now given much more choice on the courses that they study. Now, whilst they have to take one subject from each curricular area, there is an opportunity for pupils to specialise in one particular or two curriculum areas. So, they must choose an expressive art. So, they must choose one of the subjects from art, drama, fashion, music and music tech. They will be giving health and well-being lessons through their PE and PSE, but they will also get the opportunity to study sports studies or sport and recreation. Languages is covered by English and literacy, but again there will be an option to study media in addition to this. They must choose a modern language, French, German, that they've been studying up till now, but we are also introducing this year Spanish at S3 with a view that in S4 we will be able to continue that at National 5 alongside French and German. Maths department will continue to teach maths and numeracy and within science there's an expectation that you will pick one from biology, chemistry, physics and engineering. Social studies include geography, history and modern studies and you must pick one of them. Religious studies will be covered in our core offering, but there is also the opportunity to pick up extra religious studies leading to National 5 and S4. Technological studies include business administration, business studies, computing, design and technology, economics, food technology and music tech and graphic communication. In addition to this, we introduce yet another skills option at this stage. This might well be continuing a skill learned from S2, whether that be uh, outdoor learning or enterprise and technologies. But in S3, you only pick one skill and you do that for the entire year. So things like outdoor learning, which is Duke of Edinburgh, PC Passport, Photography, they will be one period a week of learning in school. They might require some out of school work as well. As I said earlier, we offer some compulsory elements, our core offering, if you like. That includes maths and English, and they will be taught for three periods per week in S3 and four in S4. Religious, moral and philosophical studies gives one period per week. PE, we offer two periods a week in S3, and all S3 pupils will receive one period of PSE per week. On the email that you received with this presentation, there will have been a link to a form. That form is the course choice form for this year. And in it, there'll be a series of questions. It starts off fairly straightforward. We're just looking for your name and your class. And then I think question number four is to choose your expressive art. And again, you are choosing from art and design, drama, fashion, music, music technology, and whichever one of these you choose, you will study for three periods per week. Within the Modern Languages faculty, you can choose from French, German, both of which you will have studied to some extent in S1 and S2. However, we are now offering Spanish, and we're beginning in S3 next year, looking to take young people on to their National Fives and Hires in fourth and fifth year. Again, whichever one you choose, you will study for three periods per week. 
you must choose a science. In the science faculty, we offer biology, chemistry, engineering and physics. And again, which one you pick, you will study for three periods per week. And please remember that at the end of the course choice, there is the opportunity to choose two other subjects. So if, for example, you're desperate to study biology, chemistry and physics, choose one of them here and there will be an opportunity further into the form to pick chemistry and physics in addition. Within the social subjects faculty, you can choose from geography, history and modern studies. But please remember that RMPS is a core subject, but again, you will get the opportunity further into the form if you want to study RMPS in more, more detail. The final curriculum area, Technologies, covers both our DFT and our computing department. And you, you must choose one of the following. Business administration or business management, computing, design and manufacture or graphic communications, economics, food and consumer, engineering, music technology. Please note that engineering and music technology have both appeared in other parts of, of the choice option. Music technology in the expressive arts and engineering from the science. The next two questions will allow you the personalisation of your curriculum. This is where you will choose two more from the full list. No duplicates, please. Now you can choose from all the subjects that were covered earlier, plus remember religious studies is in here too, as well as sports studies and sports and recreation. Sports studies is the, the choice if you want to, in the future, think about doing your National 5 PE, moving on to higher PE, etc., taking that road. Sports and recreation, while there is a bit of theory in it, there's less so, and that will take you into National 5 Sports and Recreation in S4, and possibly Sports Leaders in S5 and S6. Whichever subjects you choose from here, you will study for both of those for three periods per week. As I mentioned earlier, we also have the S3 Curriculum Skills option. Again, I'll, I'll repeat myself, but this is one skill this year, and that one skill you will do for one period per week, and you will do it for the entire year. Things that we offer in S3 include dance, enterprise and technology that you might well have started in S2, but you don't have to have started in S2, hairdressing, languages for life and work, which is usually Spanish, manufacturing skills, outdoor learning, which is Duke of Edinburgh bronze level, PC passport, photography, science, which is the Silver Crest Award, and travel and tourism. I will ask you to choose your first choice and then I will ask you to choose a second choice. Now this is quite simply that some of these subjects have a, a limit, a capacity, so we've only got I think 16 hairdressing booths, so we can only have 16 people into there. Um, so that is one, one limiting factor. The other is things like dance, Sometimes dance isn't very popular and we only have two or three people that have asked for it and we can't run a class uh, with, with two people in it. So sometimes we have to, to use your second choice. Now I will never use your second choice without speaking to you first and giving you the option to, to change into something else. Okay. So if you've managed to listen to my presentation here, that means you got the email. On that email, there would have been a link to a form and there would have been a link or an attachment in the form of the course choice booklet. I would ask you to have a, a look through that course choice booklet. It has information that, that every faculty has provided about all the subjects that they offer. And that should give you uh, the ability to make an informed choice about your course choices for S3. Once you're satisfied that you've got the, the, the subjects picked, I would ask you then to open up the form and answer the questions therein. I would ask you to do all of this before the 19th of February at 1pm. I will remind you that the 18th of February is your parents' night and that will provide you one last kind of opportunity to discuss your options with teachers. If there's a subject you're not sure about, you know, if you're trying to pick between two sciences, for example, your science teacher this year will, will happily explain what 
what each of them entails and, and what one might be best suited to yourself. You could also make a, an appointment with your pupil support leaders that night and they are well versed in this course choice process and will be able to help you and help answer any questions that you might have. But again, can I please ask you to get the form submitted by one o'clock on, on the following Friday. Thank you. We get a little bit ahead and into the S4 and 6 curriculum that follows. Um, in S4, pupils will continue to study maths and English, and then they will pick up to five of the subjects chosen at S3. So you have to think about that as you're picking your S3 choices, that for the majority of these, you will, these will be the subjects that you continue into S4 and probably into S5 and possibly even into S6. But in, in S4, you will do seven subjects, maths and English plus five chosen ones, and you will study those at either National 3, National 4 or National 5 level. For those that can remember standard grade, National 5 is the equivalent of credit, National 4 would be general, and National 3 the foundation level. Only National 5 at this stage has an external assessment. In S5 and S6, pupils will be able to choose up to five subjects and study those predominantly at higher or advanced higher levels or continue with more subjects at National 4 and National 5 level. Whilst I appreciate that you're all still very young and you might not exactly know what you want to do when you leave school, I would urge you to think about what you're aiming for. Have a look at the websites attached onto this PowerPoint, edinburghguaranteed.org, Skills Development Scotland, Edinburgh College and UCAS. Edinburgh Guarantee and Skills Development Scotland give you the what you need for, for the world of work. So if you are thinking at this stage you might fancy being uh, an electrician or a plumber, if you have a wee look in Skills Development Scotland website, they'll tell you the kind of subjects that are beneficial to having a career in that, that sector. If you're thinking in the future you might want to go into college, then again Edinburgh College is a good website to have a wee look at and see what kind of subjects and what levels that you will need in order to get into that. And UCAS is the, the university website, so if you are absolutely determined that you want to be a psychologist, have a look on the UCAS website and it will tell you the different subjects that you will need to, to study up to higher level. And if that seems appropriate, if those are the subjects that you enjoy at this stage, then that's probably a very good choice and those would be the subjects you would pick into S3. It might flag up that that's not what you want to do, in which case you might go for a look at other subjects. But do keep that in mind. Think, where are you trying to get to? Am I trying to get to uh, to be a lawyer, in which case I will need X, Y and Z subjects? Do I want to be a doctor, in which case you will absolutely need to study chemistry? Have a look through these websites. Make an informed choice. Good luck. Thank you all for listening. Uh, and please, uh, one final reminder, get these forms in by the 19th of February. Thank you very much.